Good morning and welcome to Full Circle Ozarks. Well, hello everyone. Lou and I is out here working a little bit today. And uh, I think what we're going to do, I've got some milling I want to do. And it's, but I'd like to move the mill in the shade. It's pretty, pretty sunny out here. So I've got the place prepped for it's going to well, eventually be the permanent home, but I don't have a shelter built. But so I think what we're going to do is check the air pressure in the tires on my trailer and get this, uh, get this mill ready to move. And we'll hook up and move it down in the shady location so we can get some milling done. So come along with us today. Hope you enjoy it. And Blue, you can say hello. Say hello to our YouTube family. Blue has really adapted well. Lou is a blue healer. He's three months old. Uh, so I'm working with him on a leash. He still don't like the leash too much, but, but he's coming along pretty good. Aren't you, Blue? You my buddy. He likes to ride in the, in the gator with me. We go out and check the things out on the property. But anyway, we'll get the get the tires aired up or get the pressure checked anyway and then uh, I've got to move the mill head down here to transfer the weight over the axle and then we'll, we'll get this thing moved so we're going to get that started you want down blue there you go yeah that one was good so I've already checked the other one it was good so, I'm going to get this mill head moved. I just use a strap to, to fasten this down while I'm moving it. Well, I've got the mill head moved down. I'm gonna lower these um, jack stands at the back. Then I'm gonna pull the gator around, hook up, and uh, we'll get this thing moved.
Well, I got it moved. I'm not totally sure this is going to be the exact location. Do I need to move it that way, that way, back this way, or move it up a little bit? But this is going to be a start. And once, once I kind of figure that out, then I'll go ahead and get everything re-leveled and get ready to start milling. Uh, this area will be the, the, uh, where I put the sawmill shed here in the near future. But I want to make sure that I have plenty of room to load logs from that side and plenty of room right here to get the uh, the slabs so I can put them in, in the burn pile. So, so anyway, I may adjust it a little bit more. Uh, I may mill a, a log or two and kind of see if it's see if it's where I want it, but and then uh, make a final decision there. But anyway, uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll get this thing set up here in just a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I think I figured out kind of where I want to try this meal at right now at this location. And uh, I'll try a couple of logs at this location and if I don't like it, I'll, I can still move it either direction. But what I'm gonna do, gonna do right now, go ahead and get the uh, get the meal leveled back out. Every time you move it, you have to re-level it. So uh, I have a, have a level here across the box and I can still need to raise the end up a little bit. So. That looks good there. Still looking good. Looking good that way. Okay. Next thing I need to do is go ahead and get the jack stands on the back down and put a little bit of pressure on those and then we'll level it going this direction. Look, there's a wasp in there. And looks like I need to come bring this side up about an inch. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do like 10 turns on this end and 10 turns on this end. See where it takes me. One, 10. One, and 10. Okay, I think that's got it. I'm gonna do a couple of more tests here. I'm gonna tie a string from one end to the other and make sure I don't have any bowls anywhere. Sometimes I have to I have to make some adjustments on these bolts right here. Uh, but I, so I need to do that test, so we'll do that. And uh, let, me, let me get the string ready and then we'll bring you back for that. Okay, so what I've done, I tied me a, a tight string uh, down the length of this rail. I have it level here and touching the rail down there and I was just kind of going through, you can see the string when I pick it up there, to make sure that uh, I didn't have any low spots in the rail. And from what I'm seeing right now, it's looking pretty good. Okay, uh, that side turned out to be okay. Done a little bit more checking, but this side here, 
I'm gonna have to, I've got a little bit of a bowl here in the middle. So I need to do some adjustments on that. But matter of fact, let me, uh, let me bring the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. You see the string here that's stretched nice and tight, but there's a, there's a gap there, I'm guessing about a quarter of an inch or less so anyway these adjustment bolts here and here i will loosen those and i will bring that up Okay, I got those loosened, so help me watch that line, and I want you to holler when you see that line touching. Okay, I believe that's touching there. Okay, as you can see there now, that gap is gone all the way down, up and down through there. So that's what we were looking for, so. Okay, I think we about got it. I wanna do one uh, final pretest before I cut any wood. I'm just gonna push the mill head up and down and watch these rollers here to see if I see any time the roller is not making good contact and turning. And, uh, if it passes that, we're going to be ready to, to try sawing a piece of lumber again. We'll push it down through here. I'm very satisfied. So we're going to try to saw a piece of, uh, maybe a scrap piece of log just to make sure. And then we'll double check to make sure we're getting the thickness that, that I'm looking for. So. Well, I'm happy with the way everything leveled out now and I, as I said uh, I think we're going to set a log on here and um, we'll take a couple of cuts off of it I'll, I'll measure it to make sure the thickness is good and it's then I'm getting a good even cut and then if all goes well I'm going to go ahead and cut some lumber out for uh, for a bench so we'll see how that goes Well, that didn't go as, as expected. That's a little bit better. We got the log loaded now, and uh, we'll get it uh, get it ready to mill. Well, I've got the log mounted up here. I made sure that I've got it. Uh, the, the pith center up here on the front, got the small end of the log up here. So anyway, we're gonna take a, a small slab off just to give me something to measure. So we'll make two cuts. I'm gonna go down one time just to t take a slab off. Then the second cut, I'll probably drop down maybe a, maybe a half inch. And then I'll measure that to make sure that it's, that it's cutting straight. So
Okay. We'll turn this end down here toward the camera first and we'll measure that in. This little square here is what I like to use when I'm doing this kind of measuring. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, again, I want to make sure that on this side and this side that it's the same measurement. And I slide that across. And that's perfect. So now we'll check the other end. In all honesty, for rough cut lumber, the person don't need to go to this much trouble, but I just wanted to let you see what's possible. Yes, that is exact. Exact there. So that's giving me exactly what I'm looking for. I'll double check here in the middle. A couple of spots. But the bar cone is kind of kind of hard to, to do, but I can break some of that off. Perfect. Perfect. So, okay, the, the good thing is it's cutting perfect. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate this log and make me a can out of it. And I'm going to go ahead and saw it up for a, uh, a bench. I'm on, I call it a bench. It's also a, a prayer altar. What I mean by that where we attend church is called King's Ozark, and uh, we have 19 acres out on the, in the area, and we're putting in a, a prayer garden. So we put some trails in out there, and I, I may show you a few vi video clips of putting that trail in. But anyway, along the trail, we're making some benches so you can stop and rest, but also use them as an altar if you just want to spend some time with the Lord. So. So that's what this is going to be. This is going to be one of the one of the first uh, prayer branches or altars, whatever you want to call it, that we're going to use out on King's Ozark. Uh, the, the piece of property that that we have out there is called King's Refuge. It's in Ozark, Missouri. So, but anyway, we'll, we're going to get this turned into a uh, to an altar. Hope you enjoy it.